lucky me finishing after the top twins. I, I, I said to Renee, at least I didn't have to go straight on after the president. Um, it occurred to me as I was preparing for this that uh, while it's a celebration of some truths that both our nations hold to be self-evident, um, it's always good to be reminded that uh, those things that we value were not, are not bought at zero cost and that there are families across the United States as there are families um, across New Zealand for whom July 4th is a time where they are separated um, from loved ones uh, because their loved ones are serving uh, in the armed forces. Um, I'm going to use the words of a man far more eloquent than me, the words of a man called Frederick Brown Harris, who was the longest serving chaplain for the United States Senate. And um, when the Senate reconvened uh, after its July 4th holiday in 1943, these are some of the words that he used to open that session in prayer. And as I read them, I thought that those words would equally apply to both New Zealand and Australia, uh, sorry, New Zealand and the United States, and uh, not to Australia when you hear some of the things that are in it. Um, let us pray. We thank you for those pilgrims of faith who came hither in their frail boats across mountainous seas and who stepped upon strange shores with the salutation to a new world in the name of God, Amen. The nation here established, conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal, has acknowledged that name above every name and reverenced it, has built its altars, reared its temples and raised its steeples, emblems of a faith that points to the skies and wings its shore in certain way to God. Make that faith of the fathers, we pray, real to us in these tempestuous days. Save us from a freedom of speech so empty that we have nothing worth saying, from a freedom of worship so futile that we have no God to adore, from freedom from want and fear with no creative idea as to how to use our plenty or our security for the redemption of our social order, and for the salvation of our souls. Let all that is low and unworthy in us sink to the depths. Let all that is high and fine in us rise to greet the morn of a new day, confident that the best is yet to be. Ever-loving God, the source of all true harmony, guide with your wisdom those who govern the nations of the world, that all your children may come and go in peace, and the earth be filled with the knowledge of your love through Jesus Christ, the Prince of Peace. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you this day and forever. Amen.